What's good, my powerful people? Back at y'all another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you drop a sub down below, drop a like on the video, and follow me on all my socials. The link's gonna be in the description. Now, today we're gonna talk about two masculine characteristics that two masculine traits that drive women crazy. Now, look, bro. This video is very important. So, before we even hop into what I got to tell you, make sure you hit that like button down there, bro. A lot of y'all be watching the videos, don't even hit that like button. Let's get this video to 50 likes, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Let's just get this video to 50 likes. Make sure you sub up to that Patreon as well because what's today? Today, Thursday. Probably Saturday, I'm going to drop the first video, which is going to be how to last longer. So if you want to know how to really just, you know what I'm saying, hold in, you struggle with busting too quick, performance anxiety, all that different type of stuff, I'm going to break all that down in the Patreon video coming this Saturday. So make sure you sub up to that. But yeah, bro, the first way... The first trait, the first masculine trait that you need that's gonna really drive women crazy is your masculine energy. Your masculine energy, bro. As a man, you gotta have masculine energy. Because when you step into your power, when you step into your masculinity, when you are confident and secure within your masculinity, bro, this is gonna give off a certain vibe to women and that's gonna naturally make them be more submissive or make them want to be more submissive. Is what I'm saying? Because of the way that you carry yourself and the type of energy that you carry, you just in tune with the best version of yourself. You see what I'm saying? With some of the highest qualities of yourself and the highest aspects of yourself. So in translation, women gonna see this and it's gonna it's gonna make you stand out to them. You see what I'm saying? Because a woman can look at you based on how like your body language, she can tell if you're nervous or if you're confident. A woman can listen to your tone of voice and know if you're confident or know if you're nervous. Same thing with your eye contact, if you have strong eye contact or not. These different type of things, women pick up on these things because women are just as visual as we are. Just how every time you see a chick with a big old booty, you get to staring at it. Chicks stare at dudes the same way. That's why you gotta be in shape and things like that. That's why you gotta be looking her in her eyes. Because look here, bro. That masculine energy is just that go-getter energy. That energy of you just being sure of yourself, that real, real, real pure confidence, that unbreakable confidence because you know who you are. You see, when you find your land in life and you start putting yourself first, this is when you're going to increase your masculine energy. When you start getting in the gym, when you start increasing your bag, when you start understanding the game, and really strengthening your mindset, this is when you're going to develop your masculine energy. When you start talking to more women and getting in the field more and getting more experience with women, you see what I'm saying? Whether it be on a casual level, exclusive level, sexual level, whatever type of level, when you just start dealing with more women and the quality of these women is constantly increasing, your masculine energy gonna also increase as well. When you applying the things that I tell you in my videos and other people tell you in their videos, when you actually apply these things instead of just watching the content, you're gonna increase your masculine energy. All these things is important, bro, because all women wanna be submissive, but all women not gonna be submissive to every type of dude. That's why you gotta be a certain type of man for a woman to be submissive. You can't be the average dude. You can't be feminine yourself. You see what I'm saying? You can't be weak. You can't be replaceable. You can't fit in these different type of things. Be timid and scary and expect the woman to submit to you because you don't carry no masculine energy. You are the leader. So everything has to start with you first in order for her to do what she needs to do in your life. Meaning you have to have the masculine energy for her to open up her feminine energy to you and submit to you and follow what you got going on in your life and things like that. The second thing, bro, pay attention to this right here is the sexual intimacy not sexual intimacy sexual tension sexual tension is very important a lot of y'all dudes bro y'all be dealing with chicks y'all trying to get straight to the point you feel me you trying to rush to get some play biggest biggest turn off to women biggest red flag biggest no no biggest way to get completely ghosted she probably ain't even gonna put you in the friend zone she's just gonna completely ghost you you feel me when a woman gonna give you some play bro it needs to be natural it needs to be mutual. Like, just have it in the back of your mind that that's what's going to happen. That's how you have to be confidence-wise. You got to know that every time you're dealing with a chick, of course, she's so attracted to you and she's so wild by you that she want to give you something. You feel me? But you shouldn't have to... If you have to try, like, super, 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 super hard when you're dealing with a chick, bro, she really don't like you like this. Because women that like you going to make it easy for you, bro. You ain't got to go through all these hoops. Trust me. But when it comes down to you um, having sexual tension bro the sexual tension how to maintain the sexual tension create sexual tension these type of things one aspect of it is foreplay 
everything you putting the fantasy in a woman's mind you warming a woman up you feel me you getting her in the mood so she can anticipate what's happening next so she can anticipate you doing what you need to do you feel me y'all actually getting it on those type of things but you got to set it up in a way you feel me that's why eye contact is so important you can stare a woman into her souls and tell her a lot of things just by how you're looking at her the tone of your voice the bass in your voice the vibrations of your voice when it when she hears you talking to her, when you are up in her ear these different type of things the way you can caress her body you feel me all these things create sexual tension or it could be that y'all are kind of mad at each other but at the same time y'all are like y'all could be arguing or something like that and why y'all mad or why she getting mad at you why she yelling at you she actually getting dripping down there she actually getting turned on because your her emotions are fluctuating right now that's why you got to be unpredictable and mysterious because you can always play with a woman's emotions and get into her mind a little bit you feel me so when it comes down to creating that sexual attention you got to take your time when you're dealing with chicks bro foreplay is going to be your best friend because i'm telling you you can get her dripping water before you do anything before you even touch her seriously so you got to understand how to hop in your bag because yeah you got to have the stroke game and stuff like that but you got to have everything that comes before you even get into that point bro because understand this bro you could just be having a casual conversation with a chick and you can feel the, the sexual tension in the room you can just tell it's just the way that y'all vibing and interacting with each other you can just tell that the interest level is high so when it actually comes down to that point oh it's gonna be amazing it's, you're gonna really transform my life you feel me because i'm telling you bro just sometimes when you're dealing with a chick you ever be dealing with a chick bro and it's it's actually it's a vibe you feel me it's a complete vibe like she interested in you highly interested in you you highly interested in her everything just going your way you comfortable you confident you secure you feel what i'm saying she she um she comfortable she opening herself up to you and these different type of things y'all flirting that's another thing bro your flirt game you got to know how to flirt with women make them smile make them feel a certain way based on what you say i'm not telling you to be a comedian or a super try hard or things like that but just flow with it when you're dealing with chicks bro you gotta flow everything should be natural you feel me you should just get when when you're dealing with women you have to give off the vibe that you have experience because when you have experience, it's going to help you create that sexual tension. It's going to help you increase your sexual energy as a man just naturally. You feel me? Another way to just increase your sexual energy is being in control of your lust, going on no fab, going on sin retention, these different types of things. Because a lot of y'all be so stuck in y'all lust and so pressed over chicks and you probably be in a drought. So it's like you, you, any type of play that you can get your hands on, you, you feel what I'm saying? You're drooling for it. But when you understand that you can go it out, it's gonna if it's gonna give you that abundance mindset it's gonna give you more discipline about yourself when you have sexual discipline bro you can take your life anywhere you want to but yeah bro these two things is very 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 key that sexual tension when you can create a secure vibe a nice flirtatious vibe before anything super sexual before y'all actually getting it on and things like that when you can actually create a vibe that's having her thinking about what's going on next have her anticipating y'all actually getting it on bro she gonna remember that I'm telling you, everything about you dealing, you interacting with a chick has to be a completely different vibe. So when you're carrying in a massive amount of sexual energy, when you're able to transmute your sexual energy, you can create sexual tension within conversations, within foreplay, within interactions with women. You feel what I'm saying? All these things are imperative when it comes to getting into her mind, you standing out, her wanting to come back, these different type of things, bro. You see what I'm saying? You can't be born, bro. I'm telling you, you can't be born. When you're born and you're not... Because confidence is what's going to get you these things, bro. Confidence is what's going to help with your sexual energy. Confidence is what's going to help you build the sexual tension. Because if you're scared to touch her, if you're scared to talk to her, say certain things to her, how are you going to create sexual tension? How are you going to build things up and really send her on an emotional roller coaster and have her thinking about you giving it to her? If you scared, if you're not confident in your game, if you don't have no game, you feel me? You got to know what you're doing with women, bro. You have to know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, fake it till you make it. I know I tell y'all, don't fake it till y'all make it. But when you're dealing with chicks, bro, you got to give up the vibe that you got experience. You see what I'm saying? You got to give up the vibe that you got experience. You got to show that abundance. Because you cannot be too, you should never be too pressed over any chick. But you should have skills things in your bag that help you take control of the situation that help you get into her mind 
They help you create a completely new vibe that she gonna remember forever. These type of things, they help you create the vibe that's gonna keep her coming back to you. Because it, it all, all it takes is one wrong thing or one bad experience with a chick and it's completely over with for you. You feel me? But if you really just hop it in your bag, she gonna wanna keep coming back over and over and over and over again. And she gonna be willing to abide by everything that you got going on in your life. You feel me? But you gotta be confident. You gotta be secure in yourself. You gotta be working on yourself. You have to be self-improving in order to increase these things about yourself. Cause none of this stuff is just gonna happen when you ain't on your ground, when you slacking off. When you actually just focused on women, but you ain't improving. How are you focused on women, but you ain't improving? It don't make no sense. When you dealing with a chick, bro, you should have the mindset that I'm finna imprint her. She gonna remember me forever, even if she only linked with me once. You feel what I'm saying? This is the type of person that you gotta be, bro. Learn how to hop in your bag and seduce these women. Make them feel good. Understand how to put a fantasy into her head, bro. Because when you can do these things, when y'all actually getting it on, it's gonna be 10 times better. You feel me? 10 times better, bro. It's like she almost gonna be rushing you to give it to her because of just how good you making her feel because of how comfortable she is. Cause you not judging her, you letting her truly be herself. So she gonna show you all the tricks. She gonna give you all the combos, bro. You feel what I'm saying? She gonna drain you. If these are the type of experiences you want with women, bro, you gotta have sexual energy and you gotta be able to create that sexual tension because you can control the dynamic. You control how she feels. You know what I'm saying? You control when she gonna buzz. You just controlling everything about her. Women want you to take control of the full control of them, bro. Not just sexually, mentally, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, whatever you wanna call it, any type of level, women want you to take control of them. So these two things, bro, you're going to be able to take control of her. You're going to give her what she wants. You're going to give her what she needs. You're going to give her what she really craving. And she's going to always come back for more. Simple. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment some few suggestions. Subscribe. And I'm out.